Hello, all you wonderful people. I am Booty Cat, and welcome to our very first episode of Let's Explore. So, tis the season, everybody. Merry Christmas. I got this. I got this behind me because it's Christmas time. It's not like it just creepily crawled up there while I was recording. So, tis the season for traffic and stress due to finances and presents and secret Santas and lots and lots of holiday traditions. So today we're gonna to be exploring one holiday tradition in particular. So this suggestion for Let's Explore came from our good buddy Question Block Gaming. So QB told me that over in Japan there is a fascination with KFC during Christmas. I'm not even kidding. We are on the Fantasy Star Wiki right now and this, this is a, a special NPC. A Colonel Sanders NPC. It says upon discovering uh, his hidden KFC shop, the player can purchase collaboration items such as weapons and room goods. After talking to the Colonel for the first time, he will present his partner card that allows him to be summoned to assist a player in battle. Can you imagine Colonel Sanders assisting you in battle? I, I mean, in America, I can't imagine the colonel doing anything other than like killing lots and lots of chickens. I mean, I, I, maybe if you're going up a giant chicken boss in Fantasy Star or something. So anyway, the point is over in Japan during Christmas time, KFC uh, has a very special like Christmas uh, like meal. This is Smithsonian.com. And this is a whole article on why Japan is obsessed with Kentucky Fried Chicken on Christmas. Christmas isn't a national holiday in Japan. Only 1% of Japanese population is estimated to be Christian. Now see, over here in America, I would say that a big portion of people that celebrate Christmas don't necessarily associate it with the religion. Now I know that a lot of people do, but I know that there are a lot of families out there that it's just Christmas is just a, it's just a holiday tradition. We don't, you know, they don't normally think of it as an actual Christian holiday. Yet a bucket of Christmas chicken, the next best thing to turkey, a meat you can't find anywhere in Japan, is the go-to meal on the big day. So when a group of foreigners couldn't find turkey on Christmas day and opted for fried chicken instead, the company saw this as a prime commercial opportunity and launched its first Christmas meal that year. Christmas and wine. Wait, what? 2000. 920 yen, which is approximately $10, chicken and wine at KFC. What? Pretty pricey for the mid 70s. That is pretty pricey for the mid 70s. So today, the Christmas chicken dinner, which now boasts cake and champagne, goes for about 3,336 yen, which is about $40. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna explore this, and this is what this series is all about. Let's explore these crazy weird things. Maybe not crazy weird to, to, to you, because I know some of my viewers actually live in Japan. And if you are one of those people, please leave some stuff down in the comments about maybe what you do uh, during Christmas. Do you participate in this, this tradition? All right, so this, we're about to watch a Japanese KFC Christmas commercial. I've never seen this before. Uh, so this is, this is, this is going to be interesting. Hopefully there's nothing inappropriate in it. Kentucky Christmas! <laughs> She just, she just leaped out, out of a giant KFC bucket. That was incredible. Oh, they're so happy. They're so, so incredibly happy. Okay, wait, scratch that. They, they look so happy. Everybody who came running looks so happy. That lady does not look very happy. Uh, she, uh, she... <laughs> She looks very bored. She's like, I'm, I'm over this. I'm, I'm sick of, I'm sick of leaping out of giant chicken buckets. She looks so bored. She looks so bored. I mean, she's supposed to look bored. Oh my gosh. So it looks like uh, the, the meal runs 23rd, 24th, and 25th of December. KFC.co.jp. We got to check that out. We got to check that. That's the next thing that we're, we're just going down the rabbit hole right now. Look at what they serve, though. I mean, I don't know how long ago this, this commercial was, but look at this meal. 
It's extravagant. You will not find KFC like this in the Western uh, Hemisphere. Like, nope. Like, that's a whole, that's a whole chicken. That's a whole chicken. KFC.co.jp. Welcome to Kentucky Fried Chicken Japan. Here are menus in foreign languages. So we have the Moomin Multi Bowls. A uh, total of four designs it comes with one of the designs. Bold design cannot be selected. This is, oh my gosh, can you imagine getting, like, I just, that's, that's actually something really cool. I want that. Why can't we get that? And I'm a vegetarian. And so I, I wouldn't go to KFC, but I'd go to KFC to get one of those bowls. <gasps> there it is. Look at that. There's the Christmas meal right there. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this Christmas meal. Look at that, that cake. Look at that cake! That cake looks incredible! So it looks like the the prices were slashed 4,000 yen or 5,000 yen. Uh, I don't see champagne. I don't see champagne or wine unless it's like it's down here somewhere. Look at that cake down here. This is the 5,000 yen one. What is 5,000 yen in US dollars? 5,000 Japanese yen equals 44 United States dollars and five cents. 44 dollars and five cents. 44 dollars and five cents for that. I mean, that's just insane. But I mean, I, that is a pretty big meal. However, I I don't think I could ever justify forty four dollars and five cents at a fast food restaurant, unless uh, during Christmas time KFC becomes more like an actual restaurant. All right, guys, here we go. This is a Japanese KFC Christmas commercial from nineteen eighty nine. Again, I hope there's nothing inappropriate in it. But let's see. Wait, wait. Were those just like peeping, peeping toms? And that woman's just like, come on in for some Kentucky fried uh, Christmas meal? So it looks like they've definitely stepped up their meals, <laughs> you know? But yeah, take, take a look at this, right? And then there's this. So that's a really, really big difference. So they definitely stepped up their game. Three portions for growing boys. There's one boy there. There's one boy. Like why? I don't understand. Why would you say three portions for growing boys when there's, I just, I, that's, that's, I don't understand it. It's like they told her, can you take a bite of this, of this chicken for this commercial? And she just really did not enjoy it, but she tried her hardest to make it look like she did enjoy it. So this is a video of Japan, Tokyo Diners chooses Kentucky for Christmas. Wow, look how big those buckets are. I was not expecting that. Whoa, you have those sign flippers and everything. You know, they got the big signs and they're flipping them. They have giant poles with giant megaphone speakers. There's the cakes. There's the cakes. I want them. <laughs> That was that was delicious. Thank you very much for the cake. All right, so let's 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 get some contrast here, okay? Let's let's get some comparisons. So let's compare let's compare the situation here, okay? I I discovered a 1997 KFC Christmas commercial from here in the United States. Now, of course, this is 1997, so it's probably gonna be a little dated. Uh, again, I haven't seen this, so let let's let's uh, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> what? What is that sound that Santa is doing in the very beginning? Whoa! <laughs> I think he's just trying to say like, whoa, you know, but <laughs> it just came out really, really weird. Whoa! Welcome to KFC. May I help you? Welcome to KFC. Can I help you? They get a gigapet with every meal. What? A gigapet? A gigapet? Do you guys, you guys might not remember gigapets. Uh, you know, there, there was the Tamagotchis and then there was the gigapets. Here, I, I gotta show you guys. I gotta show you guys. Man, see, this is what Let's Explore does. We're going down the rabbit hole. So these, these are gigapets. It's like when you couldn't find the Tamagotchi, there was the gigapet. Everybody at school had Tamagotchis and I wanted to, I wanted them too, but they were so hard to find. You know, they were like, they were like the big toy then and they were cheap. It's not like they were like super expensive or anything. They were pretty cheap. I think they were under 10 bucks, but Tamagotchis were so hard to find. Then the Gigapet came out and those became 
insanely popular too. In fact, I think these might be these. Oh no, no, those look like Tamagotchis. These might be Tamagotchis and maybe some uh, Giga Pets in there too. I think this is the exact one I had as a uh, as a kid because it's a frog. It starts off as a tadpole and you can grow it and get it bigger. Obviously, if you stop paying attention to it, uh, it dies. You know, it comes like a little ghost. And apparently, KFC gave them out. Can I really get a Giga Pet with every meal? Yeah. Then I'll take 400 Colonel Strip meals, 300 original recipe meals, 500 chunky chicken pot pies. For a limited time at KFC, with every meal, you can get a Gigapet for Wait, wait, wait. You can get a Gigapet with every order. Is it plus $7.99? For a limited time at KFC, with every meal, you can get a Gigapet for just $7.99. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like you had to pay an additional seven. So it's basically instead of going to a toy store because they were so hard to find, they were so impossible to find, you know. So it looks like the KFC just like hopped on that bandwagon, and we were just like, yeah, we'll, we'll sell them. You can't find them at any toy stores. Hey, we'll sell them. You can get them with every single meal, but you still gotta buy them for seven. Because I'm pretty sure they were like seven ninety nine at a toy store. Hyper Kitty, Bitty Kitty, Micro. And Digipooch. It's the toy on every kid's list. It really was the toy on every kid's list. Know where to get him. Gotta fly! Gotta fly! <laughs> Everybody needs a that Santa is really, really weird, man. Between his, like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and then his, whoa! <laughs> What is this Santa is so weird. It's a weird, weird Santa at a weird, weird fast food chain, apparently. So there you have it, guys. That was uh, an interesting first episode of Let's Explore. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode diving down the rabbit hole of very strange fast food chain and very strange holiday tradition. Do you have any suggestions for the next episode of Let's Explore? Please let me know down in the comments or please join our subreddit, which is right here. And on that subreddit, there is a, a discussion uh, where you guys can give me suggestions for future Let's Explore episodes. So uh, already I've heard a, a, a lot of pretty good suggestions. Everything from like K-pop videos, the war between Minecraft and Terraria and Roblox fanboys, weird Japanese vending machines, and a few more really good ones. And I would love to hear the rest of your suggestions, so please let me know down in the comments or join our subreddit over here. There's also a link to our subreddit down in the description, along with links to all the videos that I showed in this video if you want to see them again for some reason. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, Cat, for this very first episode of Let's Explore. If you do like this series and like the idea of it, Please do me a favor and pull that magnificent like button. Because you know it means the world to me. It really, truly does. And hey, while you're at it, if you haven't already, that is, be a part of the fun and the community by pulling that subscribe button and become an official part of Until next time, I'm Booty Cat. I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.